What's up guys, you're watching Ties I Help. In this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing of the new iPod Nano 7th generation. Uh, this is the newest version to come out. It just came out a couple days ago. Picked it up in my Apple store, so I figured I'd go ahead and unbox it for you guys. Uh, now, let me go ahead and start out by saying this iPod Nano looks a little bit weird to me. Uh, it just looks kind of awkward, but uh, I'm excited to, to play around with it. I got the 16 gigabyte model. Uh, it comes in seven different colors. I'm pretty sure that's uh, correct, seven or eight different colors. Uh, I picked the black or the slate uh, color. Go ahead and peel this off. Uh, just because I wanted that one. Uh, if you missed my iPod Touch 5th Gen unboxing, I got a blue uh, iPod Touch 5th Generation. Uh, that's pretty nice. So let me go ahead and take the uh, sticker off that so I can get it out of this. And there we go. There's the new iPod itself. Oh, crap. The sticker's stuck in my desk. Go ahead and set that to the side. I will set the iPod to the side also. Uh, so let's go and take a look and see what is inside. Of course, we got the quick, quick start guides. Hello, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we got some mini Apple stickers. Check that out. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, and then also inside, of course, is the new lightning cable. Get another one of those. It does not have a wall adapter with it, just like the new iPod Touch. So you're just going to have to plug it up to your computer. And then, of course, we've got the new Apple EarPods. Again, I'm guessing this one does not have uh, the actual buttons on it, which it doesn't, uh, to change the songs. It kind of stinks they didn't put those uh, the button on the headphone, the Apple EarPods, for the new iPods because it's an iPod. You're going to want to change your music. Why wouldn't you want that button? All right, so let's look at the new iPod itself. Here it is. Holy crap, that is like super, super small. I don't know if you can tell. Just look at it compared to my hand. Like, look how little that is. It's super, super, super thin. I actually get the new iPod Touch. It's thinner than the new iPod. That is insane. Look how small that is. I don't know if I want it to get much smaller. That is just super, super, super small. Let's go ahead and actually turn it on. It looks like the power button is here on the top. I'm going to have to hold it in. See if it's got any juice on it. So there's the Apple logo. Got a little display on it. Got the volume up and down buttons over here. Got a home button right there. On the back, or on the bottom, we've got the uh, lightning adapter, and then we've got the headphone jack on the bottom, and that it looks to be pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and go through the setup here. Uh, I'll do that later, but yeah, it looks nice. Uh, it's just, it's kind of weird. It's like they made a weird-looking iPhone and made it really small. Like, I feel like I should hold this up to my head and, like, talk on it, right? I don't know. It just looks weird, and it doesn't look Apple-y. It kind of looks like... I don't know, it kind of looks cheap to me, but I'm excited to play around with it. Of course, I'll be doing my review on it soon, uh, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm excited to to give my thoughts on this and uh, see how I like it. I'm definitely going to be using this thing when I go skating and stuff like that, uh, so we'll see how it holds up and how I like it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button down below. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.